Today, I'm going to show you some of the mods you can use to update WWE 2K22 to be more like WWE 2K23. All of the mods in this video will be linked in the description with credit given to their creators. However, I want you to know that this is not a tutorial. I do have a tutorial which you can find right here. So if you want to install these mods and you don't know how, just follow this video step by step and you can do it. It's very easy. If you're not into spending $60 on what is essentially, and let's be real here, an update to WWE 2K22, you can head over to ProWrestlingMods.io and find all the mods you need to update it yourself for free. And while I don't show everything in this video, you can update everything from graphics, music, characters, attires, championships, ring announcer voiceover, commentary voiceover, weapons, and well, quite literally everything. The WWE 2K modding community is very active and very welcoming, so if you're new to this, don't be shy, join forums, and reach out. If you need help you can ask me or you can reach out to the modders directly there's also a pro wrestling mods discord you should join and has a ton of info you can use to install mods find new mods or maybe even make your own mods the community is full of talented modders like joe mashups who made this roman reigns mod you can see here and this updated finn balor from the judgment day with his fancy spiked mask landry james has the usos in their red survivor series attires D-Web199 has Bobby Lashley's Royal Rumble 2023 attire. We have this updated Austin Theory by Joe Mashups. These updated Extreme Rules 2022 attires by At Your Favorite Trash for Bailey and Bianca Belair. Or how about this updated John Cena by Landry James with Bald Spot included. And of course, you're not limited to just attire mods for in-game characters. You can add characters to your game that aren't even in 2K23, like Isla Dawn by Joe Mashups. Or if there's a character in 2K23 that you want, but it's not in 2K22, you can grab them too, like Cora Jade, also by Joe Mashups. And of course, the arenas. You can grab Raw and SmackDown arenas with the updated electronic barricade created by Rev. And Matt Fick has an amazing WrestleMania 38 arena you can use. Or if you want to go back to Black and Gold NXT, you can grab this arena by Serenity, whose YouTube channel you should check out for some amazing content. And really, we're just scratching the surface. The website's full of mods. You should check out each and every one of them, see which one you want, download it, give it an install. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, get rid of it. Best part about that is every single mod I just showed you is free. And every single mod on PWM is also free. Some modders do have Patreons and paid tiers for early access to their mods if you would like to support them. And that's something I do encourage you to do because making these mods is a process that my brain can't even begin to comprehend. I just know that it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time, a lot of their personal time that they're using to create mods that we use so if you see that they have a patreon or a donation link go ahead and consider supporting them anyways there's not much else to say in this video i just want to throw something together really quick to show all the amazing mods you can use to upgrade 2k22 to be more like 2k23 because games are expensive these days this game goes from 60 dollars to 129 dollars or however much it is very quick and not everybody's into that shit. i'm sure you've noticed all the videos i do are of modded gameplay that's because i feel like the possibilities of videos like that are endless that's how i was able to have Rhea Ripley in the Men's Royal Rumble or have Sami Zayn take on all of the bloodline at one time or theoretically have Sami Zayn fight 29 Roman Reigns. Without modding content like that would not be possible. So it's really my goal with this channel to help bring more people into the modding community because the more people that are in this community the more eyes that are on the modding projects and hopefully somewhere down the line 2k says hey look at all these modders look at all these amazing mods maybe we should natively support it. Because if mods ever get native support, that's going to bring a lot more eyes to the modders and the projects. And maybe they can make a little money in the process. Who knows? I'm kind of just rambling now. This was just kind of a random video I made at 3 a.m. So maybe it piqued your interest. Maybe it made you want to get into modding. I sure hope it did. If it did, you can follow my tutorial if you don't know what you're doing. Or you can find somebody else's tutorial. There's plenty of other people out there willing to help. We're gonna get back to my regular content with the next post. I just wanted to post this and brag about all the amazing mods you can get. And hopefully bring more people in. So until then, I'll see ya. Bye.